Good morning. Today's April 17, one day after President Trump announced that he's going to gradually open the country. My name is Luis Figueroa. I'm a real estate broker in Orlando, Florida, and Miami. And today, this video is all about numbers. It's all about the reality of the market because I've been been getting a lot of emails from my clients asking me, hey, is the market crashing? What's going on with the market? Uh, now is, is a good opportunity to buy, yes or no? What's going on? Please let me know. So I wanna do a video talking about real data. This is a report from the Orlando Realtor Association. It just came out yesterday. And we also have the report from the Miami Association of Realtors. So we're gonna talk about real numbers, real data, uh, because I, I know that the media is trying to push um, some some other uh, topics into the uh, into the public, but I'm going to talk about real numbers. So let's start. Orlando, this is where we are based, and this is where the majority of our clients come for to buy vacation homes, to buy either a second home or just a simple investment property. What's going on in Orlando? So last year we have a record visitors coming to Orlando, more than 75 million people visited Orlando. And obviously we all know that the start of this year, th this first quarter, uh, it has been, uh, the pandemic is going on. So the market, what's going on in the market? So let me, let me, let me tell you what's going on. Average asking price March 2020 was $295,000. That was the average price for March of this year. If we compare that number to March of last year, it was 278. So while we, so far, prices are increasing, that's, that this is very, it's, it's gonna get more interesting right now. New listings, uh, we have 4,150 new listings in the all the Orlando, Central Florida, uh, the Orlando Regional Realtors Association basically is all Central Florida, Sanford, Kissimmee, Osceola County, Orange County, all this uh, Central Florida area. Last year for March, we did have 4,271. So basically, we only have about 100 or so fewer listings than last year. So basically, the listings are almost the same as last year for, for March. So listing, this is, this is where it's going to get very interesting because everybody was uh, asking if this will be the next 2018, 2008, uh, if we're gonna see our real estate crash. And this, these are the numbers. Last month, we had 3,204 sold properties in the Central Florida area. Last year, for this same, uh, this same, uh, this same time, we had 3,142. So basically, Orlando Realtors sold 100 houses more during the pandemic than last year. That's very interesting. The average mortgage rate, obviously the Federal Reserve is cutting the mortgage rate. So right now the average for the March is 3.45. The average last year was um, 421, which is obvious because they're trying to keep up with the economy. Inventory. This is what where it's, where it's going to get very interesting. We have fewer homes for sale than last year at the same time. This means that this price might continue to increase if you have fewer inventory. That's why it's very interesting. It's very interesting to know the real data of what is actually going on with the real estate market. Miami. Let's talk about Miami. The Miami Association of Realtors divide the data by two factors. They divide the data by single family homes and by condos or townhouses. So basically, let's first talk about the single family home. The average price and the data that, that I have for Miami, the, the Miami Dale County, is for February 2020. So basically, it is two months ago. So it's, it's actually very new data, too. So the prices of the average price of the house was five hundred and fifteen thousand dollars, but that was actually lower 
than last year prices. Last year was around 558,000. So we're seeing right there like a 40,000 um, decrease on pricing for single family homes. New listings, uh, we have seen fewer listings um, this year. We have this year 1,678, 74. Last year we had 1,781. So basically it's, it's about 100 less listing, which is typical because people cannot go out as much uh, now, sold listing. This is where it get, it's going to get very interesting. Same thing what happened in Orlando. 884 properties, single family properties, was sold on the month of February 2020 in Miami. February 2019, 805. So basically, we have right there 79 more properties that they will sold this year during this time. Condos. Now we're going to see, uh, this, is, this is basically the, 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 the wider price cap that we're going to see. Uh, this year the average price is 380 Last year, this same time for February was 442 That means a 14% decrease in Miami uh, condos prices. Basically this is, this is because Miami is building so many new towers, so many new single uh, townhouses. So basically the older, um, the older apartments and the older townhouses, they just get pushed away. Inventory for, the, for condos and townhouses is 14,960. Last year, actually the inventory is down. Last year it was 16,000. So basically we have fewer inventories, prices, for these two examples in Miami are down. This is about um, 8%, 8 to 9%. This is about 14%. In Orlando, prices are rising. Um, th that's a good sign. Properties are getting sold. What, what concerns me the most, because I know this is, this is a, a time that we probably, none of us has, uh, have experienced something like this before. So there's two main things that actually concern me and is properties on Airbnb. A lot of people uh, bought properties and put them on, on the Airbnb business model, which is like a vacation, um, a, a quick vacation, but because we're not getting enough people, this might be hurting in the next couple months. The real part that actually concerns me a lot is the retail side of real estate which is um, outlet, mall, your, your typical Macy's, JCPenney's, Marshall's, Ross, all the big names, the big brand, the big boxes. Um, because what happened in this situation was the, the people transformed their, uh, their buying patterns and started buying a lot of merchandise online. That was a trend that it, it was already increasing already. This is not because of uh, the pandemic, but this is something that has been increasing since uh, five or six years ago. The trend is, is been increasing. So this part right here, I should expect to be seeing maybe a little bit less on, on the rent, uh, maybe a little bit more concessions. And especially for the restaurant owners, um, people are gonna, still slowly get back to the restaurant business, still um, slowly get back to, to a normal life. So it will take time, it will take time. The housing in Orlando is going strong. Housing in Miami is actually going strong because the sold, the, the sold properties are still within the range of the numbers. Even, even in the condos, sold properties are actually in the, within the range of last year. So I, I know it, it is a lot of information out there. I can send you the whole information, the whole package, the data, the actual data. We have to make a decision based on data, based on the actual numbers, because most of, most of the times feelings and numbers, they do not match. So if you do have any questions about Orlando real estate, Miami real estate properties, either residential or, or commercial, I will be more than happy to answer your questions 
or and either to send you the um, files that I do have about the prices. So anything that I can help you, uh, I will leave my contact information in the description below. So feel free to call me or text me or whatever you wish out or whatever you want to do. So be safe, uh, stay home as much as you can, but also understand that this is something that is gonna is gonna pass and we will get back to normal. America will be great. Thank you, have a good night.